when I first saw some of the early trailers for Where the Wild Things Are, uh, what it kind of left me with is it, it pretty much just looked like, you know, I didn't really think much of it. A little kid who goes off to an island and meets a lot of cute, cuddly creatures, and there's probably a bunch of fart jokes or something. That's kind of what I took away from it. Although I'll admit, I mean, I knew that it was based on a very well-respected book, and I think that's the thing that drew me into the theater as I was, I was interested uh, to see what they were going to do. I didn't have Where the Wild Things Are read to me as a kid, unlike most people. I did read the book last year and thought the illustrations were phenomenal. Um, but as far as it's not like I thought, oh, I can't wait to see this movie because of the book. You know, I don't, I don't really have a relationship with the book like a lot of people do. Um, I just kind of thought it would be a, a typical family film, and I'm um, very pleased to report that it's definitely not. Where the Wild Things Are is something uh, much more interesting, uh, much more complex and sophisticated than your typical family film. Um, uh, this is probably the f one of the few films I can think of in the last decade uh, that doesn't have a Pixar logo at the beginning. Uh, and it's rated PG that actually has something interesting to say rather than just being um, stupid, dumbed-down crap I'm used to seeing with G and PG-rated movies. Uh, um, the visuals are stunning. Uh, I think the cinematography is extremely well done. It's another area where this is, I'm going to be saying this a lot in this review. Refusal to compromise, refusal to conform to the typical family movie crap that we're kind of come to expect and some people even like. Um, it's just that it's not bright and colorful. It's actually very dark and very moody and really helps set the tone of the story. And that's one of the things that really pulled me in is that um, I, I wasn't expecting that level of sophistication out of uh, out of um, a story like this. Um, the locations are gorgeous. Thank God they didn't try to do any green screen or anything like that. Uh, minimal CGI in this movie. The wild things, their faces, I believe, are CGI, but um, they actually have people in suits performing this. Just so refreshing to see that, you know, in, a, in an age where we're just more and more relying on CGI. It would have been very easy to say, let's just make them CG characters. I, I really believed that these characters were real. I thought the acting was really well done. Max Records, he plays Max. I thought he was okay. He didn't blow me away or anything. Um, a lot of reviews have been saying, well, he carried the film. He, he was fine. You know, it, it is kind of a hard part to play, especially for a kid. At the beginning, he really is wild. Like, some of the things he does, like when he bites his mom on the shoulder and uh, at the beginning with chasing the dog, it's like a, a kind of hard to sell a, a kid doing that, making it believable. And um, I thought he did a fair job at that. I was, as far as the acting, I was much more impressed with some of the creatures. I mean, I thought the voices were spectacular, very well cast. Again, it refusal to just make a family film. They didn't cast a bunch of cute little fun voices. They cast real people. They sound like real people. Um, they move like like they're, the way they move their emotions. And like there was one, there's one clip where a character shrugs. I thought I, I, I can remember very clearly. And like, wow, that seems so real. That, that I really not can only I don't just believe they're real creatures I believe they're real characters they're real people that I can kind of identify with and that was surprising. Ultimately, you start to figure out that wow, he, this is really Max seeing himself reflected in these creatures. That's just another thing I didn't expect a um a you know family film to be um or uh, this kind of family film a, a film that doesn't have the Pixar logo on it uh, to be that sophisticated. Uh, I thought the script was brilliantly written. Uh, this is basically a movie about, I think a friend of mine described it best, this is a movie about childhood made for adults from a child's point of view. Uh, it's almost in the same way that um, the Seinfeld TV show would take uh, little daily, little annoying things in our daily life that we could all kind of relate to and turn it into disasters. And there was they did that for comedic effect. This is a movie that takes all these um, moments and ideas and emotions of being a child and it takes them very seriously. Um, it doesn't, you know, a lot of the things that we might look back on and think, oh, the, you know, when I was a kid, oh, those are, that was childish and silly. It takes them very seriously. And I really admired that. I thought that was a really interesting approach. And, and I think everyone, you can find scenes in this movie that they kind of relate to. It's just so, this is definitely something out of a child's imagination, the scene where they're building the fort, these little concerns, like, you know, they have the worst teacher ever, tells all these kids, oh, the sun's going to go out someday. You know, things like, and that, you know, you know, and Max is really worried about that, and um, we know that's silly, but kids don't know. Kids don't, they don't know that these things aren't serious. They take these things very seriously, and this movie is told from that perspective. I thought that was really interesting. A lot of reviews have commented on the pacing, that it's very slow. I just really believe that um, we're just, we're so used to seeing um, stories where there's a hero and a villain and a clear conflict that, oh, once we defeat the bad guy, the story can be over. This isn't a movie about that. It's about the characters. It's about Max and how he changes, how he starts to see himself reflected in these creatures. Finally, he can look at himself in the mirror, and as a result, he changes. I mean, this is a movie about 
the characters and how they change. It's not about a story. So I think to, um, to say, oh, there's not that much that goes on, you're missing the point, I think, if you say that. You don't really get what the movie is about. Um, the emotion of this movie was much stronger than what I expected. Uh, the, the scene at the end, especially, when um, when he's waving goodbye, when he's on the boat going away and he waves goodbye to Carol, I was I was um, really I was deeply moved by that. I just thought again it was very well written, well acted, visually it was just extremely well done. Uh, in a nutshell, I give this movie four out of five stars just because of a refusal to compromise. This is actually a really interesting, artistically well done movie, and I would I wouldn't definitely not call this a kids movie. Some might enjoy this, but it's definitely not aimed at kids. It refuses to do the things you would you would typically do in a kids movie, just just to appease the kids. Definitely aimed at adults. And um, I fully intend to buy this movie on Blu-ray when it comes out. I really get the sense that you know, just, just like any, just like all great children's literature, that on the surface it appears very simple, but I really sense there was a lot more kind of behind it. And I think upon rev- on, upon repeat viewings, I'll pick up on more and more little things that I didn't notice before. So I give Where the Wild Things Are 4 out of 5 stars. Great film, special film, one of the best films of the year. I look forward to seeing it again.